All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to lesson 13 of the Amazon affiliate course by Surfside PPC. So today I'm going to be going over how to add products directly from Amazon using Boozone Insane Import Mode. So if you've gotten to this point in this series, you've already have your WordPress website set up, you have your niche picked out, you have everything ready to go. In the last video, we just set up our product categories. So now we want to start adding some products to those categories. So what I'm going to do is come into your website, you want to come down to the left hand side, you should have a woo zone installed here and you want to go all the way down to insane import. And there's different settings you can set up um, your Amazon configuration, woo zone up here, your insane import settings. I have it set up to, when I add products to my website, I have it set up so they add as a draft and not directly as a product to the website because I want to optimize them a little bit before I add them directly to my website. Um, if you don't set them up that way, they're going to publish automatically. You're going to have some long URLs. You're going to have some things that don't look, you know, all that great until you optimize them. So I'd rather just, you know, put them up as a draft and then optimize them then. So here's how you add products. So you should have everything set up to this point. You come into insane import mode and scroll down a little bit. You have search for products here. So there's some different options here. Um, I like to just search for products directly and you can look at Amazon categories as well. So what I like to do is come down here, do first five pages, and then we're going to do farmhouse console table. So the products you add, you want to pick out keywords that you already have for your product category. So one of our big product categories is farmhouse console tables. Um, and what we're doing is we're pulling up the first five pages in Amazon to get all of the products from those pages uh, to be ready to import. So once we click launch search here, okay, so you can see now some of the products have come up right here. So you're going to see queued products here. And you could also export the ASIN codes. ASINs are uh, unique identifiers for Amazon. So all these products are checked automatically up here. I like to click uncheck all because if you scroll down, it's going to show it's going to take 12 minutes and 37 seconds to import all these products. I don't like to add that many products at once. Um, I only like to add products in increments of about 10 or 20 at the very most. Um, so what I'm going to do is come over here, come all the way to the front and uncheck all. So that'll get rid of all the products here. And as you play around with this tool, you'll get used to using it. Um, you can adjust the number of images you download and the number of variations for those images. Uh, I always keep spin on an import here. Um, I always import attributes and then I import it in and you want to import it in the correct category because if you use category from Amazon up here, it's going to start adding all sorts of different categories directly from Amazon to your website, even if you already have the correct category here. So you have to set your category. Just make sure you do that. And once I click import products, it's going to import whichever products I select. So I'm just going to select these first two for now. And you can click on them. And you can see what they look like. What I like to do is open up a search uh, directly into Amazon. So I just search farmhouse co console table. And it should match very, very closely to the insane import mode. So you can see here a couple of options. They look pretty similar to first few options that we have here. So usually it's somewhat similar you'll find a lot of the same products here and if it's if it's not exactly the same uh, you could always go through some of the pages and, and see what products you're adding I like to click on the images pull them up and you could just see okay this looks like a good console table this one over here same thing good console table um, so we're going to import both of them directly into our sofa farmhouse or our farmhouse console tables uh, they're also called farmhouse sofa tables. so and once we click import products it's going to take a second here and you'll see it's downloading images right now so this will take a little bit of a second okay so once you see this you know parse two of two products parse 11 of 11 images it's going to say progress 100 percent progress 100 percent now our products are added into the product section so we're going to close box and we're going to go over to our product section up here so over to the left hand side we click products all products Okay, so once we come over to products, you're going to see that we have the two the two products that we just imported. Uh, they're both drafts right now, and either of them are published. So you can see draft right here, draft right here. So what I want to do is edit some of these products. Um, you can see over here to the right, uh, we have the price here, the different categories. Obviously, it's going to be in uh, the main parent category of farmhouse furniture, then farmhouse living room furniture, and then the link will be farmhouse console tables because that's what it is. Um, so over here is going to be the price. So the prices automatically update from Amazon, which is what's pretty cool about this product is it's always connected to WooZone. And the way it works is it's always going to pull in these prices. So even if this is $129.99 tomorrow, it's going to pull in the correct price. So it's always constantly updating different prices as they change. Um, so what we're going to do here is you can do quick edit. And this is something I like to do. So take out some of this, you know, you want your products to 
be the same as the way they they describe it, but you also want it to be set up pretty consistently across your stores. So what I like to do is keep anything that's size related all the way at the end. So I'm going to do that consistently across the store. I have a color here. So what's good is we have our Deco 79 wood metal console brown 48 by 32. So now if you wanted to add, you know, I could do instead of wood metal console, I could do wood metal farmhouse. So that's something that you can do is kind of adjust the titles here a little bit so that it's a little bit more optimized. So we take the title, copy it, and I like to put it right into the slug. So the slug obviously is the URL and we keep it there. Right now the status is a draft. We're going to publish it. Product tag. So this is where you can kind of start optimizing for different product tags. If you see this deco wood metal farmhouse, maybe you do a couple product tags like metal farmhouse furniture. Um, wood farmhouse furniture. So if you have all these different things, maybe antique farmhouse, whatever it is, so I don't know if that's going to be actually relevant, whatever it is, if you can find relevant tags, that'll help your rankings as well in Google. Um, so we look over your product categories, we have them clicked properly here. Um, you don't need to adjust anything at the bottom. Um, if you want to change any of this, you can, but uh, we're going to have it all the same here always. Um, so you can adjust dates if you want, but we don't really do that. You can enable reviews. So what we're going to do right now, we, we have it set to publish, so we're going to click update. So now we have this product published to our store. If I click view, make sure it looks good in our store. Okay, so this is what it looks like in our store. So we have the big image here up top. Uh, you could see this product, and this is the category here. Uh, as you scroll down, some different images that came with the import. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then there's no star rating here yet. So if you could try to rate some of your things, that's up to you. And now what we have is the, the title here, the price. This is always going to show up, the as of here. So just leave that there. That's, that's fine. Um, a lot of people kind of overthink it. When people click add to cart, uh, they should go directly to Amazon for me. So that's the whole point of this, uh, the way my website is set up, is that when people come into my website, they find products they like, they click add to cart. It actually adds it to their Amazon cart. So I don't have to deal with any of the shipping or anything like that. And I'm just importing products directly from Amazon. Amazon doesn't mind because I drive traffic to their website. So they'll just give me a cut to drive traffic to their website. So that's why this works so well. So now it's kind of a rinse and repeat. Uh, what I like to do is come into edit and optimize my product a little bit, make sure the description looks good, make sure everything is, you know, written well. You can kind of rewrite some of these things, so the description here. And what's really important is the meta description. So it's not automatically going to be in there. So what we're going to do is take our title up here, put our SEO title in, okay? And I like to add farmhouse goals. Okay, so now we have our SEO title in there, Deco 79 Wood Metal Farmhouse Console, brown, 48 by 32. And now you want to do a meta description. So what I like to do is just keep the product title that we have here and kind of make sure we have it in. I keep them pretty consistent. So I do something like discover our, and I'll get rid of this here, Deco 79 Brown Wood Metal Farmhouse Console, period. I'll just do behind your... Beautiful sofa. Okay. So now your meta description, you can see it here. So it just looks a lot better when you have it like that. Um, if you want to add a focus keyword, you can. Uh, you don't have to do that. It just helps you optimize for that keyword. It's kind of hard when you start adding a lot of products. If you're adding popular products, it's good to do. So maybe I do something like, you know, Deco 79. Maybe I do wood metal console table, something like that. Um, it's kind of a long keyword, and it's going to say, give me a lot of red things. I don't really do that too often, because I think it's just a little bit unnecessary to set focus keywords there. Um, so we have this set up as an external affiliate product, so when people click on it, they're going to go to Amazon. Uh, you can adjust some of these things here. I like to adjust the product short description, because it pulls in sometimes from Google. So I'll go up here. Sometimes I'll just take a meta description and adjust it a little bit. Um, what we'll do is just take some of this up here. Okay. So what I did is I take this content from up top. So it's 32 inch rustic business wooden textured console. And I'll just create a couple sentences out of it. So I have this deco 79 wood farmhouse console table works great as a farm as farmhouse living room furniture. It is herbal distress untreated birchwood with three tiers of shelving. The console is held up by distress iron black steel legs. So it's very similar to what they have here. I just reword it a little bit, make it sound a little bit better because when people come in, they're going to read that. 
Um, so you can keep some of this down here. A lot of time I'll get rid of it. Sometimes that co that down there isn't too bad. Um, so right now it should kind of be all how we want it. So you can keep adding some content up here. Um, so I'll kind of try to make these into sentences, make it a little bit cleaner. There we go. So that's good right there. And we have it all set up. It's going to say readability needs improvement, SEO not available. If you want to make that better, you just have to focus keywords and you want to write more content here. Sometimes I'll write more content here. It just depends, but let's click update. Okay. So that's how you add products, publish them. And, uh, you just want to keep doing that. So the more you can optimize them as you add them, the better they're going to perform in search engines. Uh, the more content you can add down here, the better everything's going to perform for you. So I like to add a lot of content and optimize things as I'm adding products. Um, I've built websites where I've added tons of products at once, publish, 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 publish. And what happens is over time, they kind of lose their rankings because a lot of the content is the same as Amazon. And so what you have to do is make sure you're adding additional content alongside some of those products. Um, I always find that certain products just rank well in search. They just become popular products like for seasonal items, things like that. Um, so just keep adding products, make sure you're optimizing them. The more content you have, the better your pages are, the better you're going to rank because there's other people adding these types of products to their website as well using the same method. Um, so you just want to make sure yours stands out from the pack. So thanks for joining us today. Hopefully you know how to add products using WooCommerce and WooZone. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments and uh, make sure you subscribe and thanks for your support.